It's a new dawn, it's a sad day, it's leaving time at the zoo, and she's feeling sad. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name's Tom and I film every weekday of my life and I share it with your faces. And welcome back to our last day at Centre Parks. Like I said, it is indeed packing time because we're leaving. Um absolutely shattered just could not sleep well whatsoever last night and then randomly at like two o'clock in the morning when i was like drifting off i heard some noise throughout the house i was like what is going on i thought it might have been alice and kyle upstairs wasn't them thought it might have been my mother just out here being a prat wasn't so i poked my head out to investigate and somehow the lounge tv had turned itself on at full volume you wee bugger so yeah it's safe to say I'm sharp at it. But I am now roaming through the woods. Because like I said, it's the last day at Centre Parks and it's checking out day. So everyone's in their motorised vehicles. No, I do have to do that. You've just completely caught. I'm just going to my car to check out. Rep in this. What, what's your name? Freya. Lovely to meet. What a legend. Oh, that was lovely. But now I'm rushing even more to get into the car. And I've brought it to my destination. Which is quite literally some door-to-door -door service. So let the madness commence. Bags packed. And they're in their boot. Who's the baby? Who's the baby? Who's the baby? Baby, baby. Well, this has been absolutely bloody lovely. My favourite part was the nice little marshmallow toasting session I had. Really nice. I was doing that till about 3am. My not so favourite part was the goose loose around the house. Spookily turning TVs on. But in all seriousness, I've had such a lovely time with you. All of you, Alice, I've just had such a good time with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for organising everything. You're the, you're the, you're the best the best sister. You're, you're the best baby. You're the best... You're the, you're the most beautiful man I've ever met in my life. I just love you so much. And Karen. Just leave Karen, me alone a second. Karen. Karen. You're the ultimate Karen. And I would never change you for anything. Thank you. And it's safe to say, getting out of the house is getting <coughs> stressful. He just keeps following us. Fans outside the house again. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, Nino and Karen. <laughs> The, the estate ravers and then there was two right we've recycled we've secured all our stuff and somehow acquired the baby <laughs> but we are done and dusted and saying goodbye to center packs we're actually saying goodbye to the house and like you heard we're going to the pancake house so goodbye now and last but not least we've got to get rid of our wristbands they go into the pot and oh panic there's a car enough. coming oh, no. i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry are we good we're good to go 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 <laughs> Now we're back at the lakeside and we're T-minus seven minutes from being booked into the pancake house. Well, let's see if we can get a table sooner. Oh, yes. And we're in and look at that. They've even given me some crayons to play with. Monster trucks, monster trucks, monster trucks. You see, I'm not the only weirdo. Ah, see, now you look like an idiot. <laughs> what a strange girl. Oh, it's time to get fat. What are we going for? I'm going to let you decide in the comments down below. Go on, go on. What are you going for? Yeah, fat bastard. I do like myself a waffle, I'll be honest. And I know we've come to a pancake house, but I could actually eat an all day breakfast. Yeah, all day breakfast to share. An all day breakfast to share and then pancakes and stuff each. This is why I'm fat. Oh, and how nice of our guests to join us. Look at that. That's a dad and a mum on a mission there. Let's place our bets. Is Arlo asleep? I'm gonna guess no. Is he asleep? Oh, is he? No! I was wrong. Oh, don't mind if I do. No. Very nice. Oh my gosh, baby, look at this. Oh. Bring it in. Mm -hmm. Lovely to see you. Love to see you later. See you next year. I love you. Appreciate you. All right. Till next time. Next see you time. on Sunday. There is a next time. Oh, wow, there is. And guess what? Jelly man, I'll be right <laughs> Ooh. But can we say this now? You've been the best thing about this trip completely. I love you. I'm so glad you're my nephew. <laughs> the point. And I can't wait for you to be jelly man. <laughs> Here we see a wild aloe in its natural habitat. It has got a yellow flower in front of it and it may try to obtain it. We must watch the child so it doesn't fall backwards. But don't worry, Papa Bear is here behind him. Aye, aye. You said the 24 was fake. It wasn't fake. Roll the clip. Oh, 24! Your turn. Record it now. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm I record you to go now. You go first. And here we go. Let's see if he can beat 24 miles per hour. On, from there, from there, from there, from the grid, from the grid. On your marks, get set, go! Dirt. Whoa, he's rapid, he's rapid, he's rapid! Wait for it, that's it? Uh -huh. Only 14? Nah, I think I'm gonna retire on my 24. Hey, it is what it is, man. I've got video evidence, so I don't know what you want from me. Nah, I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. 
Single Tom doing? Oh. Eight! He got eight! Seven! Yeah, the 24 mile per hour thing might have been a little bit broken. Yeah, I reckon. Oh, I reckon hey. I'm hey. hey, at least we're faster than these bikers. Way faster! What? Fuck! <laughs> Noobs. It's getting serious, all right? Race, me versus Cal. Okay, so we're gonna go from here, the lamp post, to that green bin down there. Can you see it? You're gonna have to do like a three, yeah, two, so, one. No, you're, you're gonna have to go down to the finish line. Off you go. On your marks, get set, go! He self-waited for me! Woo! <laughs> VAR! Air force you went, you self-waited for me! Yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> third party investigator just said you went early. Come on, we'll go again. You're a fraud. Oh, you, no, shit. DNF. DNF. I win. Scared, I win. Get the video up. I run at 24 video. miles per hour. <laughs> just accept the, the guy walking past said you set off early. He actually said, I watched a both of you. No. You're both set off. Oh, no, no way. <laughs> hey, right. just have, have it been known here. Your chat, your, your father is a fraud. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> oh, I had cramp. I had, I had a. Uh... Wait, so I've been beat at golf. I've been beat at bowling. I've been beat at archery. Knots and crosses. I'm just not. I'm just not an athletic man. Did you trump when you got then? <laughs> no. <laughs> I understand why I didn't win. I wasn't wearing my glasses. I couldn't see where to take my steps. Right. I would have had it the first time if you wouldn't have cheated. Yeah, smoke your balls. Nah, I don't you talk about. I love how we've already said goodbye to each other, but then we turn it into like an Olympic games. Oh yeah, bye guys. Do you want to um, nom, 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 javelin nom, next time maybe? <laughs> no. Okay. See you later, brother. Till next time. Alissimo. Peace out. And to the. Hey, I'm gonna start gym going soon, so you never know. What a trip, but wow, what a day. It is, it is oh, no, boiling. No, let's spend two hours in a car. Two hours in a car, at least it'll be lovely view. So come on, let's hit the road. Take me home, Mercedes A-Class. Oh my gosh, it's freaking hot in the stinky fish smelling car. She had fish with her friends. And, chips, and it smells Stinks. like a chip. Dinks. All right, we're approaching the exit of Central Parks, or Centre Parks. It has been lovely. Alice and Carl, thanks for inviting us on this family holiday getaway. But look, we've made it to the outside edge of the parks. And therefore, it is the one thing it shouldn't be. But it's home time. I'm feeling like we don't need to go home and sort all of our stuff out. Because it's just kind of clicking in my head how much stuff we've actually got to do. If we thought that was a bit stressful at times then, dealing with crying babies waking us up, ghosts turning on televisions at 2am. Did you film that? I didn't, I didn't film it, but I talked about it. But we are now leaving, and it says, Have a safe, have a safe journey. journey. Boom. Tell me I'm not the king of transitions. <laughs> that was that was a really quick journey. It was, a, it was a one hour and 58 minute journey to get us back, 160 miles, and it felt like it took 10 minutes. You did really well, and I loved your transition. Stop it. But we are home. Oh my gosh. I can't express it. I feel like I'm back to normality again. When I'm when I'm away somewhere, I feel like I'm living a different life and I'm not just Tom, like running at Tom o'clock. It's, it's good to be back. So get me in this house. You rush off to the bathroom and I'm going to go and take a seat on the sofa. Oh, wait. We haven't got one. We haven't got a sofa. We've got, we've got nothing left. Bloody hell, but at least we come back to an absolutely gorgeous day. Oh, look at the garden. Go on, Andy. It's bloody Wimbledon. And oh my gosh, I've I got to be honest, I, I didn't even realise that the television wasn't on the wall. It's actually on the floor over there. What the heck? And the reasoning for that not being there is because we basically duplicated the wiring there onto this wall. So we have Ethernet ports, great success, which hopefully work and I don't require Mars bar to get back here immediately and help me. And we've got power sockets so we can actually power the TV. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. It's starting. Oh, and there is no going back. We've come back to the house just being obliterated and oh, I've, uh, I've just remembered. We've got a problem. Well, I've got two problems and I'm going to tell you about them. So... Come with me. Now, normally, I'd walk to this point in my drive and be like, oh, the car. But as you would clearly notice, the car isn't there because it's been at Mercedes' stop port whilst I've been gone. 
and the top blokes there have been trying to sort out what's going on with my vehicle. Whilst I was away, we found out it's nothing to do with the system as to why my car keeps saying like, your battery's screwed. Turns out the battery is screwed. And it is not just any battery, like 60 quid battery that you can just go and easily replace. It is a special custom battery. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's one I found earlier. <laughs> Sorted. But no, the actual battery I need, needs importing from Germany and it costs over a thousand pounds because of all this insurance shenanigans it's ended up costing me 975 pounds because don't forget for all the compensation of the drama of everything that happened i got 25 pound off so if it does end up being a thousand pound on the dot we'll get it for 975 and we'll just have to smile and wave to get the beast back on the road but this is where the problem gets even worse the legend that is Deck that passed away. I've been asked to attend his funeral and I so will be doing that. But I got asked as to whether or not I would go down in my car and follow along with the funeral procession in my car. I believe it would be me and Matt Armstrong and maybe some other people following along to send Deck off in style. But they cannot get hold of a battery by then. So not only has the drama of the insurance messed me around with my own granddad's funeral, but it's then messed me around with Deck's funeral. And I am going to attend the funeral, but I just now don't have a vehicle to follow along in the procession with. Like, I think it's like a two and a half hour drive away for me to get there. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've got, I've got to work out whether or not I get this all cleaned up and then drive the distance and go, you know, in the beast from the east, which I'm totally down to do. But the request was for me to do it in the GTR. But unfortunately, it, it's, it's just not physically possible. The guys at Stockport Mercedes have scoured the UK for a battery to get it quicker, to get it in and to get me down there. But it's it's just not doable. So I'm going to speak to Dex's mum and see what's best. It's, it's just never simple, is it? It's just never simple. But right, you did hear me say I have two problems and it's not the lawn. Look at this. Lush. It is, in actual fact, the pool. Which, oh boy, if you notice... It's gone down quite a bit. And holy shit, look at the mess of this thing. So it turns out whilst I've been away, I got a video from Andy the gardener who's just been absolutely smashing this. The garden's looking gorgeous. We won't talk about the badgers just like digging it up and what on earth I'm gonna do with this pile. But basically Andy sent me a video and was like, Tom, oh, he's not wrong. Oh, this is not good. The pool water's gone down and I've noticed the back of your garden is looking all wet. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on camera, but it is like a bog. And basically what has happened is that luckily the pool itself is intact, but you see this pipe coming out the filter pipe. This has cracked in several places and water is pouring out of it. I can't actually see it. There you go. See the water dripping out of it. It has just completely given and then slowly all over time trickled water out into the garden and somewhat flooded it. So I'm thinking it might just be time to empty this thing, give it a clean and get some fresh water in it. Because if we've got summer for the next, seven hours <laughs> i'll say we actually have some for like the next two weeks we should just fill it back up get the zip line going and have ourselves some fun but yeah i'm definitely not diving into that in that state look at it it's not even like green or somewhat see-through anymore it's just completely gangrene so yeah car's absolutely still bollocks and the pool's absolutely on the piss so just a cracking way to return home basically but hey on the plus side this is looking so so good shout out to the boys shout out to tom upton to matt and to andy look at this madness oh it actually looks even better from this angle because it's just so flush going through look it looks like one garden and, and the more i look at it now i'm like maybe we should just get rid of the pool just say goodbye to it and say it was like a fun moment of time and then maybe put like a slip in slide instead for a bit but i don't know man i'm, I'm just i'm too invested in it I, i'm 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 too invested. Leave a like rating if it should stay, or leave a like rating if it should go. And yes, that's the same choice. <laughs> Your like ratings belong to me. Oh, it is good to be on though. I just think I need a bit of a logistical update as to what is going on on a timeline schedule with the house. If I'm right in saying this flooring is coming up, a layer of screed is going across it, which is going to raise the height of the floor. Then on Tuesday, we're going to do another layer down because it needs to be the same height as this floor. So on Wednesday, when we put the flooring down, this will be the same height from that room into this room. And it is going to be all systems go, go, go. Now, if I'm right in saying, Lydia should be in the one sofa we have in the house that's usable. Hello, are you napping? Oh, I'll leave you be then. You know what? I'll actually get her a fan. It's 28 degrees in this house. The AC has not been on and it is... 
boiling. Would be a nice day to go for a drive. Oh wait. Would be a nice day to zoom down the zip line. Oh wait. Stupid things not being available when I need them. Your biggest fan's arrived. He says he loves you. And that he's just absolutely sick of blowing me, so um, I'll get him to blow you instead. Wait, word. And hey, presto. There you go. There's your remote. Enjoy napping. Do you want a cold water? Yes. I'll go get you one. Well, I thought it was hot downstairs. 29 degrees in Lydia's room. Oh, right, I need a drink. And oh my god, there's a bogus gas man loose in my house. <laughs> Wait, what's happened to you when you've got back? I've got a screw in my toe. No! You're not going to say now, don't you? More passion, more energy, more energy. Come on, where's the dancing? More energy, more passion, more footwork, more footwork, more energy, more passion. <laughs> what a week. Now, I am just big chilling in the garden or technically the patio i could go for a bit of a swim but that looks stagnant as anything and i probably need to get rid of it and i was gonna say you know what um i'm just gonna chill out here with the water but with this weather i was just like you know what this is calling for moretti so cheers to you lot and here's to being home i know it sounds really weird but i am so happy to be back lovely trip amazing time with the family like honestly like you can't can't create some of those memories. Like you can't, you can't buy those memories. Like you can pay to go somewhere, but like there's the sudden sort of funny stuff that happened over this week, was just brilliant. To spend that, that time with Arlo, but you know what? I'm really back to be all nested up and uh, uh, ready to make this house a home. <laughs> I've been back five minutes and I'm saying it still. But what a day! What a day! Cheers. Oh, and it's about that time to hop on the bike and head to the bar but would you just look at that kind of somewhat smoggy view i'm gonna guess it's something to do with the sahara sands everyone's talking about if you have no idea what i mean don't worry about it you know what actually no i am going to explain it apparently there was a sandstorm in the sahara desert and it got whipped up into the air and brought over here to the uk and that is why the skyline looks like that absolutely madness but after that geography lesson oh we've made it oh yes hey we've made it to the bar hey marquez how sunburnt were you from wales <laughs> me <laughs> mate three hours at sea <laughs> yes yesterday i got out of bed and i was falling apart <laughs> what a book come on now come on show us the beast Come on now. Mark has been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And like, Tom, I want a bike, I want a bike, I want a bike, I want a bike. And you would think, oh, yes. pedal bike. No. Introducing the big beast from the east. Mate, it's gorgeous. Mate, that is so nice. Dude, lovely. Oh, that's well nice. A four stroke. Yes. Hey, this is what it'll, this is what it'll sound like when I get mine back. Yeah, the boy. I bet, I bet you feel like you're going well fast. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Mate, lovely. Congratulations. Well done, mate. I'm going to have to throw you in the vlog now yeah. to say happy birthday to you, but only because, right, you're a legend and it gives me a transition to that tattoo. That could possibly be <laughs> the best tattoo I've ever seen in my life. Tom, you're looking a bit sound, mate. Have you been. Hang on. Hey, yeah. Can we just, I did, but then, can we just, I got burnt and then I put a tank top on. Can we just compare Tom's? I look way browner oh. than you. <laughs> no, no Wait, why did you just tickle no, my second chin? No razors, Tom. Unbelievable. And would you just look at that view? Yeah. What are you doing here? Yeah. I've got something to tell you. The pool's leaking. Yeah. <laughs> but I need you to assess whether this bog is okay or not. Oh, man. Always a pleasure. Never a chore. Till next time, bro. Oh, my God, dude. It's the real Mark Casal, dude. Oh, my God. And away we go. Brilliant. I'm so proud of Mark. His new bike. Loving life. All we got to do now is get him to live around here. And trust me, as you know, I bought my brother's apartment because he was about to get kicked out of it. I've been looking for like the last, I don't know, two, maybe two years. Yeah, two years. Two, nearly three years. I've been looking to buy a property investment that Mark could move into and then my brother would live on my doorstep. I'm trying, man. I'm fucking trying. But if there's one thing I'm definitely doing is showing you the fact that I've done two, two, three, three, three mil million miles on my bike. But I will show you that view. Look at it. The sky is insane. Oh my God, dude, I'm doing. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Oh, 
Lydia's mum's home. Okay, 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 okay. They crashed into a bush. Well, cock a doodle do to you do. I'll give you a compliment and not on the fact that the baby looks massive. Open that cupboard again. That looks like a family feeding fridge right there. Look at all the cereals. <laughs> We've even got backup cereals on backup cereals. <laughs> do you want cereal? Because we've got it. No, this is eating cereal. This is cooking cereal. No, that is not cornflake cake cereal. It's for consumption. I tried to put that cold <laughs> packet away. And I we love Bev. Love Bev. We love Bev. <laughs> and by the way, this is how you know you live in a good household. Look at this. I came home and there's a burger waiting for me. Ooh, with bacon. Mm. Now, I'm out of the house and I'm quite literally heading outside straight away as my Uber driver drives away because. Why are you so dirty? I just wiped you on my tet. Um, but basically, I am going out with Ethan who does all the photography for Syndicate Original, the clothing line. You remember like did the fireworks and the abstract shoot? Well, it was Ethan who did all the photos and he's moving to Australia. I'm not sure when, but he is. And he's out out with all the biker boys and I'm going to join him. Don't judge me for water. I needed the hydration. So mine and taxi have arrived. I think so, is this the destination? Yeah, it is. Thank you so much, my friend, appreciate you. Hey. Take me home. Country road. I'm stealing you for a country road. How long are you going to Australia for? Uh, well, so no. He doesn't yet. know. He's just going to go and have the yeah. best life ever. <laughs> Dude, what made you decide to go to Australia? Why the hell not? <laughs> Dead if you ever job. need anything off me, let me know. Yeah. All right. Yeah, if you need me to come into Australia, I'll take any excuse. Even if my child just got it, I'll be there, right? <laughs> I've got no context of this whatsoever. But whilst me and Liddy were driving back from Centre Park today, this is what we saw, but we just didn't capture it on camera. Roll the clip. So good, mate. I've never experienced anything like that. I have full body goosebumps. Oh my God. That shot was so sick. What's your Instagram? Jaywood Because you just posted that, right? Yeah, right. If you want to see more of that, go follow him. But we saw that. The fact that I've managed to get that on footage for you is mad. Yes, the boy. The thing is, I thought you maybe were going to Australia tomorrow. So I was like, oh, we'll have a nice drink with him. But apparently we're going to send you underneath. <laughs> this is the last clip I'm going to film of the night. But may everything you do in Australia be amazing, epic. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Now nah, this is not happening. After that last shot drink, we've now escalated things to 15. What's your name? Luke. Luke, come here. What's your brother's name? Jack. You bastard. Come on, mate. I can't believe it. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, right, we'll split this bill 50 50. He went, well, yours is cheaper. I'm like, why is like, my brother's bought it? I'm like, I'll pay my own way, you little shit. Mate, we just paid £16.75 for all that and a beer. I paid seventeen pounds sixty-five for three Coronas of a night. Cheers! Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. And to your brother and your dad. What a bunch of blokes. We've just had all the shots get spilled over, so we're trying to put them back into the glass. Uh, do you have a tea towel? Because I think we're going to need one. Oh, blue roll! <laughs> Come on then. You ready? I don't think that worked as well as you thought it was going to work. Um. Oh, oh Jesus, yeah. sorry. Blue roll, blue roll, blue roll, blue roll. Yep. Wait, we've saved. One, one. Two. Uh, one just. <laughs> it's, it's better than nothing. Oh, here we go. The boys are scrapping. Ethan, where are you? Oh my God, I forgot you six foot tall. I keep, <laughs> I keep aiming this way. Do you know what? I was at Centre Parks today. Yeah. Yeah, today. And someone came over to me and went, oh my God. And I looked at him and no joke, the disappointment <laughs> in his eyes, he went, you're smaller than I thought. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> it's not my fault I'm five foot fucking seven, all right? It is what it is. Really disappointing. Listen, if you're, wait, are you ready? I need you, on, I need you in the light. In the if you see this face in Australia, <laughs> whereabouts in Australia are you going? Uh, starting in Melbourne, and then we'll see where we go. Hopefully up the coast towards if Sydney and that. the life of Tom audience yeah, yeah. is anything, always buy him a drink. <laughs> no. Always buy him a drink. No, always look after him. Ask him if he needs anything. Don't and take care of him till the very end. <laughs> he is the Syndicate original. 
this family. Is it YouTube? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Can I swear on it? No. You can say what you want. Oh, can I? No. What are you saying? <laughs> what? No, you've got to give final words to Ethan. He's what are you going to say to him? What are your final words to Ethan? No, I can't. Why? Good luck to Australia. Yes! <laughs> Watch out for Wolf Creek. Wolf. What's Wolf Creek? The murderers. Oh, Christ. We're doing a beer run. Craig has brought us into Tap and Tipple. I don't mind if I... Yeah, come on. Come on. You want to go on a beer crawl? We're going in. Yeah, you know, like, this is my mate's wife's bar. That's why I'm going in. Yeah, come on. Get me a bit of tipple. He's going to Australia on Monday. <laughs> He's got no money. So what can he get? Can he wash some pots no for a free money. shot of Sambuca? No money. I've lost something. You mind? I've lost the plot. What is the meaning of life? What would you do? After 68 years of life? Drink as much as you can. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy every fucking minute of it. I'm sorry. No, you can swear. No. Enjoy every minute of your life. It's too short, isn't it? When these serial killers got him, he'll wish. You know. Why do you think a serial killer is going to kill him in Australia? It's about it. What? I'm so glad I, know, I knew you before you got killed in Australia by a serial killer. Well, you'll, know, you'll know in there. You do know in G Cross we had the big, one of the biggest serial killers of all time, Harold Chip. With, he was my doctor. Oh, Jesus Christ, he saved you, didn't he? He did so many of us Australia will save him. I, I think I have enough money for him. Oh, Rocky Joe. There's one more important thing than what's happening right now is the fact that you've ordered half pints. Half pints. Just a quick one. Exactly. I appreciate that. A refresher. Daryl. Your nephew's going off to Australia. Kiss him. Kiss him. Love him. Appreciate him. Tell him he's your favourite. Oh! Cheers to the tap and the tipple and to Ethan not being touched up, murdered, or sliced into pieces in Australia. Dilly dilly. And we conquered. I was supposed to say we came, we saw, we conquered. Cracking spot. Yeah. Tap and tipple. That's a it. good rub of a nipple. Hey. Oh yeah, you like that. 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 Hey, Craig. Come on. Come on. Nah, I'm joking. Beer first. Hey, man. Just slow down. All right. We'll find alcohol eventually. Hey, go on then. Go on then. I love how I've got you all that. You and I. We're in. Oh my God, dude. They got singers and everything. La, 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 la. Are you actually having a blue moon? Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! To Australia! <laughs> well, that place was lovely! And oh, yeah, I'm getting fucking stood up yeah. by a bunch of fucking bandies! What are you fucking doing, you part of band? I can't even believe it! I'm like, come, come, watch your Instagram! <laughs> no, you can't pay me! <laughs> I would just like to disclose they did not pay me for this, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, uh, yeah, yeah, wait, how old are you? 18. And you're a band? Yeah, yeah. What's the band called? I'm not in the band, I'm not in the band. I wish I was in the band. Fuck off then. <laughs> what, what, the what's people. the band? We're the rolling people. Fucking yeah, sweet, like, go on then. So you're all from local area? Yeah, yeah we are, yeah. Why do you like from Scotland or something? <laughs> I'm secretly... Uh, Square to go, like! Yeah. <laughs> the rolling people? Yes! UK what kind of music? Uh, oh, okay, you don't need dates yet, but... What kind of music? Indie rock. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So what do you do in the band? Play the drums. Singer. Lead guitar. Sick. The bassist is over there. Who's the bassist? Acer. Acer. Yeah. Acer. 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 bitch. Just sat down eating his food, doing his thing. Look at him. I just love life. Life's great. I don't know what's happening right now, but I can't grow beef. Sorry. You right, Acer? Who's the best? Oh, what? The band? All of us, mate. All of us. When it Team effort? Together, Team effort, yeah. All right. If you give me permission, I play a 10-second clip of your music now. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Oh. I didn't expect to be accosted by these two blokes. However, I will say, if it was shit, I would say it's shit. Yeah, that's the thing though, like. It's not shit. Yeah, but you, hopefully you know me being yeah, more far tell you. I know. I like it. Come on. Right, yeah, I like it. Love it. Love it. And I can use it in my videos? Yes. Yes! Go on, 
Jeff Bucky boys. Glad to see you in 25 years with you in headline in Glastonbury. I walk out in my wheelchair and life will be good. But honestly, I wish you the best, lad. Nice honestly, it. smash it, keep killing it. Love it. I wish you all the best. I think I'm going this way, but I think that's a curry house. So I'll see you soon. Right. See you, boys. Oh no, yes. I'm walking into the bar. Look, look at wait. Look, <laughs> look who I can see. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I've never seen that. Why are you ringing me? What is this? Dude, I've never seen this place. I'm just making sure Bro. Hey, how does this exist in our local area? I've Bro, never seen. Bro, this is on my doorstep. I feel like you're in Manchester. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> to Ethan, living his best fucking life. Best life. Ethan. Good luck, Cheers. Cheers, guys. Oh, nice. That's so easy. It's so easy, huh? It's so easy. It should have been a Sambuca, that. Got like that. It should have been a Sambuca. I just like bloody that. We're out. We came. We saw. We conquered. Rumley. So, no joke. Me and the boys are walking to the next pub, but... This is place is called Pizza Magic and the telephone number doesn't even make sense. But I will buy a pizza. You closed? The door is open, no? Everything is off. Oh, que pasa? Who the fuck leaves a fucking pizza door open saying pizza magic? And there's no fucking magic. To the Australia, motherfucker! No way. Hey, what a night. What a night. Good vibes. Nice more energy, Enjoy more passion, it. more passion, yeah. more energy, <laughs> more footwork. What a bunch of blokes. What a great night. Oh, it is a new dawn, a new day. And you know what? I'm somewhat feeling fresh. And that's not because uh, this is the night after you've just saw. It's an entire 24 hours later. Yeah, uh, I've been sleeping most of the time. Now, in a series of events, the table is back where it should be. The kitchen is empty. However, um, uh, not everything is back where it's supposed to be. And it's not that we've given up. It's the fact that randomly Lydia decided that she was like, you know what, Tom, we're doing a baby shower and the conversation about that. She's like, I don't want the big stress and the kerfuffle of it and everything. I just want to get the house organized and I want to do this weekend a get together with friends and family. So it was like 48 hours notice. We have decided that we're going full systems go with it. We've been to Costco, got some snacks and drinks. We've shifted all the stuff from in here back into there. And we've invited about 40, 50 so people to come and join us in our nice looking kitchen, which isn't messy anymore. It's just all over there instead. And to join us for a pizza van that's going to be arriving at like two o'clock later today, which I'm pretty excited for. However, this weather has been absolutely stunning day after day, all week, until last night when it rained. And at one o'clock this afternoon where it's supposed to chuck it down. But hey ho, we go with the flow. We've got the cushions in the boxes. We've got some cushions on the ground. So when we think the weather will hold, we'll throw them all out and people have got a place to sit. Yay, great success. So I'm saying this right now, Derek. You're going to have a busy day tomorrow. And Lydia's just been to the house next door. Look at her. Look how proud of herself she is. She's like, oh my lord. Who needs to pay for flowers when we're growing them for free next door? Are they hydrangeas? Ooh, very pretty. Now I'm no flower connoisseur. These look lovely, but I think it needs one more in the middle. So let's go and get some. House next door. I'm here to ransack your flowers. That'll do. And I'm saying it again. I'm just so happy to be home, man. So happy. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I think someone called it, it's a, it's a thing called nesting. Like when you're about to have a baby, all you want to do is be at home and like make the house at home. But you know, just be cozy. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. So I'm glad we're here. <laughs> and hey, look at this suntan I've got. The burn's gone and the tan's arriving. Oh yeah. Mademoiselle, I picked you the most perfect flower. The most perfect flower. It is for you, it is beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Very nice. Ah, and here's a brew I made uh, 10 minutes ago and forgot to put any milk in it and just left it on the side. Anyone else do that or just me? Oh yes. Perfect. You, you're good at it. You are good at it. I like it. All right. Time for my next trick. And it is going to involve a rabbit. No, I'm just joking. It's going to involve me needing to empty this. But for all seriousness, I can't see like where the plug is just to like empty it out. Plus, I don't want to empty that amount of water on the top of this rooftop 
because it can only hold a certain amount of weight. So instead, I'm thinking we siphon it out with a bit of tube or pipe, which I believe I've got down there. And what I'm going to try and do with it is something that I've only seen in movies where they steal petrol from cars, but I'm going to throw that end in. I'm going to feed this over the edge with gravity. And then I'm sure all you're supposed to do is suck it till the water starts coming out Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. It's actually worked. Because of the way the gravity works, the water is flowing up there and then flushes out the back. So what I have effectively created is a running hose pipe off to the side without flooding all this. I I'm a genius. And you know what? I want it to go twice as fast. So I've got two hoses. You ready? One end goes in. You slob your gob around the other one. I am the magic man, I come from far away. What does he say? What does he say? He is a genius. And now we simply wait for it to empty. I've just got to show this role reversal that's happening right now. I'm passing beers to Lydia and, and, and she's putting them in the fridge, but Jenny's arrived. Now you can't sit just yet, turn sideways. Oh my gosh. Just a bunch of preggers. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing quite like it being all systems go. Because John the Legend's arrived with all the flooring. Go look at this. This is some door-to-door -door service right now. Go on, the boy. Whew. So everything you see in those boxes right there contain enough of this style of flooring to fill this room and that room. And those lads will be here tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. to get cracking on. You gotta love progress. And look at this, it's still pouring out after like an hour. But I'm just getting ready in case we have a fire later tonight. Cause you know me, love a fire. Seems like I've got half the Sahara Desert here, but don't worry about it. You know what, at this stage I've decided that if I just pull these out now and tip it over and wash it into the drain, we'll be good. All right, what could possibly go wrong here? Uh, okay, it's much heavier than I thought still. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's much heavier, but... Oh, there's some nastiness right there. I found the plug. The plug's there. I found it. Oh, cracky, your leg's falling off. What are you doing that for? Why has this come off? Right, put that back on. All right, like that. Let's go for it. Let's go for a second attempt of this. All right, let's, let's just do this again. What if I do it from this angle? Yeah. Is it coming out? Yeah, it's coming out. Yes. 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 I'm a genius. Jobs are good and it's empty and it can be cleaned. <laughs> oh no, it did work. This is now the sanitation zone where I've got this and this and we make that look like new. <laughs> Saying this now, I wouldn't be surprised if I put a hole in it, but it's now time for a scrub down with some soap. Squidge, squidge. And let's see this thing shiny. In its current state, it's a glorified slip and slide. But after another sprinkle, it'll be saucy. Whoa, look at that. Oh, way better. Way, way better. And perfect. Time to fill her up. For my next trick, hot water for the paddling pool. There you go. Well, that's not attached properly, is it? You're pissing out sideways, like. Get tighter. Problem solved. The boiler is booming away. But the kids will have hot water to play. And now I need a water supply in the form of my amazing fridge. Lydia, oh my gosh, has smashed this. Don't mind if I do. That's the beer, not the new variant. Mr. Grease, cheers. Cheers. To, to, uh, little baby? Chin chin? Chin chin. Some, this is somewhat now today a small get together baby shower. But it's not a baby shower. Yeah, yeah. It's just a get together because she don't want a baby shower. As you do. But here's Big Chris. Cheers, my man. I see, I see you everywhere. You just, you just appear in a vlog. And man like Lee. Cheers, bro. And Jackson. I want to crush your soul. I think we're going to be in panic stations in any minute because that is an entire cloud of rain coming towards us. Now I'm back in the fridge getting a beer and I do believe. Oh, what good timing. What, what good timing for you to get here. Papa Ken. Papa Ken. How you doing, mate? Oh, look who's arrived, look who it is. Are you pointing at the hot water? Do you want to get in it? <laughs> Alice has arrived, hello. Look at this, just a bunch of blokes panicking whilst it rains and I'm just filming. <laughs> look at that, we've blinked and it's done. <laughs> What's that bloke? The gazebo is working a storm, but not as good as this table. Look at this, 
There's so many people sat around it. Look how good this bench is. And the table and chairs. Belter purchase. Belter. I think it's that time in the night where the pool is done. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. There you go. There's the ultimate way for you to know whether or not something is on or off. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. And oh my gosh, I think it was a good job I've turned it off because this is pretty full right now. Oh, yes. Yay! Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, that's not going to get down the drive. Being the foodie she is, she was like, you know what? I want a food truck. But what do I want? And flamed pizzas was the answer. Well played. Well played. Oh my, look at his smile. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's absolutely beaming. Are you ready for some pizzas? <laughs> pizza time, pizza time, pizza, pizza, pizza time. I do want to see what? Let's <gasps> go first. Is that with the rule? No. <laughs> Where's yours? Oh, is that yours? I thought she was like, I didn't get one. Okay, come, 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 come. Oh my gosh, this is sick. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. how you doing? Oh, hello, little Luca. How are you doing? I know I'm about this right now. We got a choice of a margarita, a pepperoni, a sticky pig, a red hot sizzler, and a flame signature. Or make your own with whatever toppings are on it. Good choice. You did good, kid. You did good. Look at that. that is such a setup. Like, actually, look at this for a, an oven setup. Oh, what? Have you seen the size of it, Chris? Look at it. Oh my gosh. This is mega. Are you a happy chappy? Are you a happy chappy? What you? Where's yours? Are you a happy chappy? What have you all got? Oh my gosh, this looks good. I can smell it. I'm salivating. I'm, I shouldn't take food from a pregnant lady, but I will. Come, 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 come. Oh yes, very good. Very good, very nice. You ready? The survey says. Mm. Oh. Yeah. The pizza was good, but not as good as this uh, really working fridge right now. This is why everyone's upstairs, not down here in the basement. <clears throat> it's maybe something to do with the mess, but we won't talk about it. But more importantly, I've come to my backup stash to get some Prosecco and Merval. Because that is what the ladies want. I'm not being sexist there. If the guys want it, they can have it, but... Shocker. It's what the ladies want. So I'm bringing it up to them with straws. Cal, what are we saying? Pizza? Good? <laughs> yeah, put it in your mouth, you big fat pig. Wait, really? What do you think of it? The Italian says it's nice. Out of ten? Seven and a half. Okay, um, one, one, okay, 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 we'll take that off in Italian. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee? You like it? Yeah. Damn good bit of pizza. Cracking bit. Go on, the boys. Well, I keep seeing people go back inside, which means surely it's pizza time. But the, I thought the queue had at least gone down by now. Oh, well, in that case, I'll oh, go on then. I'll join Dad and Gail on the front. Where's your beer? You haven't got a beer? No. Well, my duty as a son is to get you a beer. Do you want another glass of... I'll find it and I'll fill it. Cheers, Dad, got you your beer. Gail, I'll work on that, but oh my gosh. How's the car? It's, I'm sweating bullets, but it is good. <laughs> yeah! The Irish man. Oh my God, you smell good. This is where I'm going to decide what I want. So if it's possible, can I have every bit of meat on there, but the vegetables be mushroom, jalapenos, and some tomatoes. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. And that will do as an ultimate meat feast. There is no way you're back for more. Hey. The baby. Oh, you're awake. Oh no. Oh no. Don't like it. Oh no. Kick it off. Uh, Lydia, is this a bit everything all happening at once? Oh boy. <laughs> In true foodie Lydia form, the ice cream truck has arrived yet again. It's the same lady who I used for a birthday, but she was brilliant and we said we'll save her pizza from the truck. So that is what we've done. What an absolutely balmy get together, but well done. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. All done within like 72 hours. Yeah. No less. <laughs> Go on, the girl. Go on, the girl. This is my meat feast. Oh, come, 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 come. Oh, yes. Look at that. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. I, uh, I bring the food to you this time. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, shower. Oh, oh, thanks. How have you managed to get an ice cream with cheese on it? It's not 
cheese. It's it's cheese. It's clearly cheese. No. Eh, why are you eating cheese? Oh, look at this. Everyone's now queuing up for ice creams. Amazing. I can't give it to Lydia. She's just. No. <laughs> Wait, what? You know the lot. Oh, look at this. Hey, it's all the mums. It's all the mums together. Oh, just a bunch of mums. What? Oh yeah, we got auntie and grandma. Right, grandma, right, grandma, right, grandma. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. It's the manliest man I've ever seen in my life. Hey, very good. You very come good, to the house, nice. you, get, you get pizza, you get ice cream. It's very nice. good, very nice. I come nice. here again. It's very nice. Oh, Karen has scored there. Well played, well played. But I tell you what, I think I've scored the best. This pizza. Get away, you little rat. I'll squash you where you stand. I got a pizza, but... They didn't hand him out to anyone else. They got a garlic dip with it. Oh my god. Phenomenal. Are ye a happy lassie? I said, are ye a happy lassie? Now this is where the most important selection comes in. What am I going for? I don't want something too hectic like this. Or this, or even this, like look at that. Or that, the state of that, bloody hell, I'll be uh, throwing up. I think that the man of the hours arrived for a dessert. Are you coming back for seconds? What's up with you? Yeah, all right, mate. How's dad life treating you? Mate, he's mad, isn't he? Four weeks old. If I have to win pow, I will say the mixed sherbet is the shout. Is, it? is the shout, yeah, and that's why the Scottish people the pick it. The stole Christmas. No, look at it. <laughs> Did you get the same? Yeah, I'm going for that, but on a cone. And with a flake, because I'm fat. I feel like I'm going to walk back into the house and everyone's just going to be passed out, but cheers <laughs> to the baby that we still have no name for. <laughs> All right, Karen, I'll catch you later. I know you are. I'm just looking at the bin behind you. Thank you. Yeah, well, I've moved. I love you, mother. I appreciate you. Would you just look? And at that is... view, wow. Go on, girl, say it. Girl, say it. Say it, girl. Would you just look at that view? Oh, Luke! Oh, oh it, over there. It's there. What about there? It's there. What about there? How about there? Look at that. Look how good the grass has grown back in. Yeah. Go on up to the boy. Be oh. People's yeah, but that's my garden. Over there, it's Wait, what's that noise? I trumped. <laughs> girl, I'm oh. sorry. I farted, Ken. Ken, I farted. Oh, no, no, Why have you got a hairy oh, shoulder? <laughs> Gail, I think if you've got... What do you mean I smell? Whoever smelt it, dealt it. Gail farted, I got it on camera. And now this is a bit of child prep. I got the baby. I got baby Luca. Ooh, 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 look at him. What a bloke. I just look about 50 already. What's going on? What's going on? It is mint. So mint. This is the last time you'll see the floor have the carpet. Think of all the times we were drunk, passed out, sleeping on it. <laughs> oh, lovely. All the times we spent on this carpet going. It's becoming a family home, boys. What do you say? <laughs> what are you doing? Parkour. Do a cartwheel. Come on, do a cartwheel. Performs under pressure. And now the night has come to a calm close. Look, it's not just me and Lydia though. It's Rebecca. And it's hey. Stephen the Big Daddy. I, I didn't mean that in a minute. Wait, did that seem like an insult? But I didn't mean it like that. It's just that he is the Big Daddy. Like big daddy. He's the Big Daddy. <laughs> Look at him. Just do it. So in four days, your child's already going to be a month old. Yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, what is going on? We will literally look back on these vlogs if I'm it's somehow like doing YouTube in so much time. Ago. Just over a month ago that we were all sitting in the same car and we were then at the end. Is that it? before the baby was there? Yeah. Oh, crikey. It was a week yeah, before. It was a week before, yeah. yeah. We, we might look YouTube back in 30 years' time if I've somehow still got YouTube and be like, oh my gosh, what on earth? <laughs> hey, there's 25 people on my live stream today. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay. I've been lucky if there's 25 people still there. It'll be all, It'll It'll be be all 25 yeah. people. <laughs> 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 why, why is Grandad live streaming? <laughs> get off <laughs> Twatch. <laughs> get off Twatch, <laughs> Grandad. Look at uh, him. Uh,
bro. There's no way you've got like nearly a month old child already. That's insane. You might have been useful, <laughs> shift. <laughs> for moving my TV but I'm filming this for just insurance purposes in case it falls in the morning or the rabbits chewed through the telly yeah yeah why why do you like you've just been in this order oh yes right time to show you how Tom moves furniture all I need is this one item I'll be right back let me just move this back what did you say <laughs> I'd laugh so hard if it snapped and you fell on your bum. Oh, you are some man. It's all about momentum. Once you've got it, it doesn't. Oh, shit, crash. So, what's your thing? That is a solid battery. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do you know what I like to call it? Works smart that hard, right? The fucking. Who's the guy who won Playboy? <laughs> the Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. <sighs> Where's Luck? We did it. I'm a space fan, didn't it? Look at all this room for a new floor to go in. Can we not bump beds? I'm absolutely. Can we? Hey, bro, can we bump bum beds? No power tools there. <laughs> Don't you touch my drum kit. <laughs> Don't you touch my drum kit. Man, I'm shattered. But look at this. They have space to work. Oh, he's showing you up. What? Oh, wait a minute. Slide. 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 But how are we carrying three together? Watch me try to carry three. Wait, wait, wait. This is why I call Where's the Bouncer? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so strong. I thought my man was strong. I am. He's just. Just from a mu muscle mass perspective, he's twice my size. I can't shift it! Shh, 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 shh. Wait, just give me fucking breathing room. Oh look, he's making it accessible for smaller strength people. Pinky, please. No, what are you doing? He's pushing it with his pinky. <laughs> pushing it with his massive bear cock. Oh my god. <sighs> this is why Ariella can't watch his battle. Why? Oh yeah, Ariella, stop uh, watching. He's doing that yeah, last. He's doing those last three. <laughs> Fuck! Jesus. Just for clarification. He was trying to go home. <laughs> Just for clarification. <laughs> wait, wait, point it at him. That was heavy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Where's his where's his like? He's not had a reason lifting a chicken fillet out of a out of a fridge. Out of a bag. No, yeah. forgot the bag. Oh, did you say out of a bag? No, the happy bag. Okay, put me. Okay, into the light. He's never had a reason in that kitchen to lift a pan heavy enough for his muscle capacity. Look at him. He's back looking in cases anymore. He thought his bag was in there and he came round. I forgot to be back. What a blow. Oh. We ride together. We die together. Floor layers for life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking shattered and I've done nothing. It's been lovely. Enjoy the 80 degree walk home. Look at where was his foot. Did Mate, you your forehead is so shiny. Kitchen, day, I, he's not going to enjoy him when I get home, he's going to be like, <laughs> Dad, why are you so sticky? Why are you so hot? You're hot all the time. You're sexy and you know it. Alright, I'll see you later, little Luca. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. Drive safe. Ride safe. Push safe. Whatever you call it. Brilliant. Well, I can't say I was expecting that to work out so well. Move a bunch of this random shite off the side and our flooring is ready to go down. To go down because I'm knackered. Oh, I've exerted everything all week. Centre parks, life, general. I need 19 hours sleep to recover. I want to stay at home, but next week I've got so much stuff to do. I'm excited.
But I'm fucking shattered. I'm knackered. And I'm ready to go to bed. Now, this is now the next day where I'm outering this video. And oh boy, is it a good job that we didn't just have that get together and party uh, today because it's absolutely pushing it down. It's pushing it down sideways. But, oh my gosh, when I say everything is underway. And oh boy, I'm going to give you a spoiler if we zoom in there. What's happened to my walls? Oh, I don't know. And you're not allowed to know until tomorrow's video. So what you're going to have to do is click the subscribe button, ding down the notification bell, and I will be back with my new weekday vlog for your faces at 7 p.m. ish. This weather's getting so bad right now. I probably shouldn't be stood under a metal tent because I think I'm going to get struck by lightning. So I'm going to get inside. I'm going to ask you guys one thing right now. Do me a favor, leave a comment down below as to what your favorite part of the vlog was. If you did enjoy it, leave a like rating and click the subscribe button and ding on the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post tomorrow's weekday for your vlog for your faces at around 7 p.m. ish. There is water just dripping all around me and I need to get inside before I get burst into flames. So thanks for watching. The house vlogs are back and I cannot wait to share with you what has been going on. So until then, much love to your faces and a saddle, you bastards.